Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's all right, Aaron, I'm Homestead. Do you ever have one of those weeks or one of those days, one of those years, in our case, that it just seems like every time you go to do something, something breaks or something else breaks and you can't work on it or you start doing a project and someone has to go to the hospital. <laughs> It's been a rough one for us. We're staying strong. We've been praying. We're doing our Bible reading, but it's been it's been a a year of learning patience because I used to have really big anger problems, and um, God's really been testing me. And I've been doing my very best to control my anger and to um, use patience and try to find the silver lining behind everything. So. I was down in the basement here, and I uh, I put up a post a week or so ago about um, making M some built-in shelves for the schoolroom slash game room slash her little office area. Got all the wood. I got uh, 28 foot by 12 foot wide boards for $200. It's like 2002 prices. It was amazing. They were planed on three sides. So I just had the plain one side, which is cool. We put two shelves up for us, so got that knocked out. And these are all done. The problem is, is I thought I'd be smart. And I, I made this cut list out here. And, you know, there's like C's is from one unit or the taller unit. And these I's are for uh, the other unit that's going above the, the desk. So... Went through all my boards and I you know, went through and tried to match everything to the best of my ability and was doing great. Got down to the uh, last five boards there. And, uh, well, that's as far as I made it on that one. Because, uh, well, my planer um, stopped working on me. It actually gave me a couple problems throughout this entire process. I'm not sure why or how. I did some research online and uh, this is definitely the culprit. And uh, yesterday it wasn't working at all. So last night at like 9 30, 10 o'clock, I was stripping this all down because I couldn't sleep. And uh, I'm not, I'm not really knowledgeable when it comes to electronic motors or Pretty much, I'm not really knowledgeable when it comes to fixing anything. I usually watch some videos and try to figure it out as I go. But somehow I was able to dissemble the entire thing without watching an entire video until I got to this. And uh, I couldn't figure out how to get this piece off. Um, which is the part that drives the, the belt. That runs the entire machine um so i had to break down and watch a video came off a lot simpler than i thought which is awesome so i took it all apart cleaned it out and then it was getting late so i decided not to do anything else and i uh, came down here this afternoon cleaned it all out saw there was burning some scraping um, one of the bushings is chipped a little bit. Not really sure why that happened, but from what I was researching, it seems like it happens randomly. Um, lots of people have, have, uh, talked about it. Uh, really surprised that it happened doing pine because pine's a pretty soft wood definitely has a little bit of the uh the sap in there still in certain areas but i mean pine's pine's pretty soft um it's not even that much wood i've probably ran more walnut through this planer than the pine so i was really shocked really surprised kind of bummed actually really bummed because i know em's really been trying hard to give me time to be able to knock this out and uh yeah, I can't even complete one right now because I have two boards left over here that need to be plain. So, 
that's what I've been doing the past couple of days. Um, thankfully, we'll be getting a lot of rain. But, uh, you know, I, I put this thing back together again, this motor. And I was pleasantly surprised that it actually worked again. So I did something right, which is shocking. Um, doesn't work great. It works better than it did when I turned it on after cleaning it out for the third time yesterday. But... Um, definitely don't think I'm going to use it because I don't want it to blow up on me, even though I know it won't probably blow up on me. It could start a fire. Um, the circuit breaker on the machine went twice. The third time it did not, which also was a little confusing, but so now I have to order parts and get that fixed. So now I'm trying to figure out what I should do in the meantime, since it's almost the end of June, and I think I got two items knocked off on the goal list. I mean, we've done other things. We had a pressure tank go out in the beginning of the month, and I fixed that, replaced that entire system. Uh, I have a car that I can't drive. Well, I could drive it, but it has no power steering, so I haven't been driving that either. Uh, we had another car issue with blowing out a tire on the turnpike. Got that fixed. Um, but, uh, yeah. Smiling because, you know, these type of things intimidate me. They make me nervous. Because, I mean, granted, it's just a tool and it's re it can be replaced. But M got me this planer shortly after we got married it wasn't for christmas it was either my birthday or maybe it was a father's day gift because every once in a while she surprises me with this huge father's day gift like she bought me a domino this past father's day which was something i've been wanting for 14 15 years and uh, it was a huge surprise and i was very grateful for it and i was so excited to be able to use it for doing this project she actually i redesigned it so i could use it um but I mean, this, when she got it, this was almost $600. It's now almost $800. And uh, granted, things can be fixed, but I don't want to pay more money. To, you know, it's just that, that intimidation factor. Um, but thankfully, DeWalt is somewhat user-friendly when it comes to repairing their stuff because it was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be to get to figure out how to take it mostly apart um there was a couple things i was like oh do i need to take this off and i realized no i shouldn't have but nothing it can't be put back on as long as i can remember how it all goes i did take some pictures of certain things but not everything and now i'm looking at my table over here and ooh, maybe i should have took a few more but i'll figure it out i can read some read a parts diagram so wish me luck um, but yeah, that's kind of what's going on in the homestead lately. Our garden has been doing wonderful. Um, we're gonna have to go out there and weed again here and there. But for the most part, we've had almost a week straight of rain, which we got like nothing for the month of May. So it's been a huge blessing. Actually, mo most of May and most of, most of June, we didn't get any rain until the past week. Um, but the garden is really taken off, which is great. And, um, yeah. How are you guys doing on your homestead? We want to hear about it. Bad or good. I'm not trying to make this a bad video. I'm trying to say, you know, there's a silver lining to everything. And I've just got a huge confidence boost. I definitely feel like now that I was able to put the motor back together again and didn't, it works again. I think I can actually replace the parts that are inside of it. So I feel better, even though I'm going to have to spend more money. I feel better. Um, but till then, I'm kind of in a standstill down here until I get, well, I guess I could build another one of my stands. Those go pretty quickly and will give me more shelf room, maybe. We'll see. But it's halfway through Monday and... Uh, yeah. Let us know what you're doing. Good, bad, great, wonderful, horrible. We want to know. We want to support you. And uh, we hope you all are doing well. And God bless and happy homesteading.